हेलो चिल्ड्रन वेलकम टू स्टोरी टाइम विद मिस निधि यू नो व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू रीड अ स्टोरी टुडे व्हिच इज अबाउट अ गर्ल हु थिंक्स इन नंबर्स डजंट दैट साउंड इंटरेस्टिंग टू मी इट साउंड्स वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सो लेट मी शेयर द टाइटल ऑफ स्टोरी विद ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे द टाइटल ऑफ द स्टोरी इज द गर्ल हु थिंक्स इन नंबर्स डेटा वॉरियर Prakalpa Sankar the author of this story is Shreyasi Singh and it's a pratham book so let's get started and see and figure out how prakalpa thinks in numbers prakalpa loves numbers she loves them because she knows numbers can solve problems numbers help build patterns in stories numbers connect people they also give people power that is what she does at social corps a company she has started with her friend varun prakulpa's favorite numbers involve collecting large quantities of information about people you know what it is called it is called data these days people say data is more valuable than oil or gold Why is that? How can a few numbers or even many numbers be worth more than some of the most valuable things in the world? Let's take your school as an example. Suppose you didn't go to school twice this week. You heard a stomach bug. It made you vomit. It gave you cramps. It doesn't seem very important information to anybody else. It's only important for your parents, teachers and you, right? But what if other children in your class were also sick on the same days? What if their stomachs cramped? Ah! Kept them home too. Often what happens to you isn't just about you. If the principal of your school will get this information, she will wonder Why six students of a class fell ill in the same way on the same day? It's quite disturbing news for her. So she will wonder: Was it the lunch served at school had some problem, or was it the water all the children drank in school was contaminated? She will need to really figure it out. So this is how information about groups can be very very useful. when information about your classmates is put together in one place it becomes community data so basically community data is information about a group of people who are related to each other for example you and your classmates this data comes from each of you it is crowdsourced which means it has been collected from people This is how Prakalpa uses numbers or data. She collects it to solve problems and to help manage schools, cities and lives better. So one of the projects which Prakalpa worked on was clean cooking fuel in 3 years which impacted almost 5 crore women. So she managed in 11 months help distribute to 0.7 crore lpg connections it's a very very big number and it helped lot of families to cook with clean fuel which is very important for their health another project she worked on was introduction to computers and internet where the target was again another 1 crore women and she could achieve this by catering to 12 different states and 1 lakh villages another project which she worked on was promoting better hygiene and sanitation levels by introducing antibacterial soap to villages in many villages in india still people do not understand lot of hygiene practices because they are not aware so it is really very important to spread awareness and that's what prakulpa did with her 
company and spread information about hygiene in many villages so how do prakulpa and her team get information that government officers and other organizations to make such important decisions you know what she does her team puts a simple tool called collect collect means we collect information or we gather information so they put this tool on people's phone this makes it possible for the team to gather useful data from people anywhere in the world so when you have many tiny bits of information from individuals you end up with a massive heap of data so what prakulpa's team does is clean up the information and organize it it's very similar to the way you arrange your own desk so that you can find your pens papers and other material when you look for them so let me share that how do they do it so they use powerful computer systems and codes to create connections among different kinds of data these connections would be very difficult to make without computer systems so they also use charts maps and graphs to show how data can link to each other the data begins to tell stories the connections become easy to understand prakulpa loves what she does she loves being an entrepreneur but it takes relentless hard work to set up a company to work in small villages that are very tough to reach to work with government departments that might not be ready to try new ideas and to help people understand why they should value data in most places in india information is still recorded in papers and registers it isn't available in digital form which means it is very very difficult to manage also many government agencies collect data but they don't work with each other to combine this data in one place so organizing data that is already available has been the biggest challenge for prakulpa and her team what has also been tough is realizing that change is a slow difficult journey build data by data and person by person as an entrepreneur so this is exactly the kind of work prakulpa wanted to do when she started out she decided that her love for numbers shouldn't be used by a large corporate alone she wanted to reach more people what keeps her going is the satisfaction that comes from making an impact by seeing lives improve and enabling better decisions children you know prakulpa and her team have partnered with governments businesses philanthropies and non profits from across the globe you can see here on the global map she works in many different countries like canada usa germany spain south africa kenya sri lanka vietnam malaysia singapore south korea indonesia and definitely with india so many countries she works well so this is how she put her love for numbers to practice in real life situation children it's really very interesting and at the same time lot of hard work but rakulpa never loses her determination and she comes out with flying colors so i hope you like today's story about prakulpa and her love for numbers i will be back with another wonderful interesting story for all of you to read along with me till then bye bye from miss nidhi and do not forget you all have to keep reading